Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. My other channel is Brian88YT, but I decided to make a new channel just for RC cars. So this is the new Ghoul RC, not new, but this is my new Ghoul RC TG3 three channel radio. It's good. I really like the look. The wheel looks nice. Size comparison. This is the Fly Sky um, G G two B, I think. We have some dials here, st steering trim, throttle trim, and this is the this is the aux button. This is just the third channel button. This is the on and off switch, I think. It's really weird. Never seen an on and off switch like that. I think it needs four AA batteries. And let's open up the rest. We got an instructions manual. And the receiver and bind plug. For some reason, the bag's open. Fine. This receiver's small. I think it's smaller than the Fly Sky receiver. Really long antenna. If you guys could see the model TG3. That's the bind plug in channel three. So you would pl uh, plug in your LED lights into the third one, channel two, and channel one. I'm gonna have to check if which one's e the e for the ESC and which one's for the servo. But the bind button is in that little hole. Do you guys see that? It comes. Oh, this this is nice. It comes with some adhesive, so you don't need to buy any adhesives. This is the bind plug. But let's go back to this transmitter. TG3. TG3 radio system, Google RC, radio control, um, 2.4 gigahertz on off switch. Oh, I didn't even see this. This is the throttle limit. This is the bind button if you want to bind your TG3 receiver with the radio. It looks pretty nice. It's comfortable. Before I move on, I just have to say the quality of the radio is really good, but it's not as good as the Fly Sky radio. But the quality is uh, the quality and the durability are is really good for the price. All right, I'm back, and I have four rechargeable Energizer AA batteries, not sponsored, for this Google RC transmitter. What I like, what I like about the fly sky radio is that it has rechargeable batteries look is that is that it has rechargeable batteries but this you have to use four double a batteries and since i have rechargeable double a batteries i'll use them is we're going to turn on our esc so it's going to give power to the receiver it's going to blink we're going to take our transmitter and hold the bind button for two seconds, one, two, and then turn on the transmitter. So now, the receiver is just full blue, and all we have to do now is turn off the transmitter and turn off the ESC. So once we turn off the ESC, we can power the transmitter back up, turn the transmitter on, you have to take the bind plug out, turn the ESC on, see now it's full blue, you can hear the servo, nice and good, let's check the, let's check the motor, yep, doing good. Alright, I'm back with my ECS amp body, and I have my lights, don't judge how my wiring skills. So what I'm going to do is take this 
electronic switch for LED lights and plug it into the lights we're just gonna plug it right in make sure it's plugged in correctly not incorrectly, plugged in correctly plug it in put our body on take the plug I'm pretty sure it's called a doc Dr. Mad Thrust electronic switch, I'm not sure I'll link it in the description too we have our wire and we could just plug it into the third channel because we took out the bind plug out of the third channel so now we plug our LEDs into the third channel and once since I plugged them on already I can power up the radio and then the receiver so the lights should be on yep LED lights this one is missing a cap two headlights and two backlights looking nice I am gonna purchase a Ford F-150 Raptor body for my ECX amp and there will be a video coming for that soon I'm gonna show me painting it it's gonna be much better than this paint paint job since we have the Dr. Mad Thrust electronic switch we can just click the third channel button on on and off oh also when it's on there's an LED light on the switch that's ironic lights lights alright so that's basically it for this review please like and subscribe